Right now at 6, a shooting at a Milwaukee area apartment complex leaves three people dead. We're going to have reactions and the latest from police. And it's a week without answers in Beloit as the city's high school implements new plans to keep everyone safe at their sporting events. Plus, the Frozen Assets Festival returns, how you can have fun and help out at Madison's Lakes this weekend. That's all coming up at 6. It just, it's, it's crazy here. It's like the wild, wild west. And it's, a, it's almost an everyday thing. A developing story tonight. Three people are dead, including a suspect after a shooting this morning in Milwaukee. One person who was hurt was shot. This happened at a Park Plaza Court apartment in Brown Deer, just north of the city. Officers were called to the building around 10 o'clock, and they were told that a person was shot in the parking lot. When they got there, police say that they were shot at by a man on a second floor balcony. A squad car was hit, but no officers or children were hurt. Officers say they did not return fire. And officers believe the suspect who died this afternoon at the hospital had shot himself. Meanwhile, police say two victims who died were a 31-year-old man and a 23-year-old woman. The Milwaukee Area Investigative Team is leading this investigation. And you can stay up to date with the latest information that develops on this developing story on our Channel 3000 News app. It's free and available in the App Store. Next tonight, Beloit police are telling us they're actively following up on leads connected to last week's deadly shooting in the parking lot of Beloit Memorial High School after a boys basketball game. The department set up a hotline for tips after the city's police chief said more than 30 people who witnessed this shooting would not come forward with information. And meanwhile, the school district of Beloit is implementing new rules tonight to ensure the safety of everyone at their sporting events. Dahalil Mahodin is outside Beloit Memorial where that goes into effect tonight. This will be the first home basketball game to implement those new protocols since that 19 year old was shot and killed here. Now tonight's game against Suns Prairie is set to start in about an hour and that's where parents and families who come to watch these games will start to see some of those changes among them. An added police presence with security per periodically surveying the parking lot. Additionally, tickets will no longer be sold at the door, but instead sold electronically hours before the game. And freshmen and JV teams will be required to leave after their games. Now, these changes will be in place for all of Beloit sporting events, not just basketball. And school officials say they hope it'll help make it a more safe and comfortable environment, not just for the athletes, but for the families who come and watch. All right, th thank you so much, Tahalil. New tonight, a student at Madison East High School has died after a skiing accident. In a letter to family's interim principal, Mickey Smith says that Alex West was taken off life support yesterday. Smith he said that the sophomore excelled at many things, but said many will remember him for his genuine and robust relationships he built. The school did not have any information on funeral arrangements, but say student service staff will be on campus next week to help students who need counseling. Okay, let's take a look outside. This is a live look at the Capitol tonight. It's pretty cold out today, but much better days are ahead. Meteorologist Austin Kavninsky joins us outside with your certified most accurate forecast. <laughs> and it really wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for that breeze. You definitely hear it on the mic right now. Those winds are kicking up, and that's going to be the case here over the next few hours. But we will see those winds dialing back at least a little bit here in the overnight hours. 19 degrees right now. We're going to lose another degree or two, but after that, we're actually going to see rising temperatures later on for tonight. So outside right now is pretty much as cold as it's going to get for the nighttime hours. Doppler track looks good. We did see some of those snow showers and flurries here, especially up north earlier today. But now we are looking pretty good to go. We're still going to hang on to those mostly cloudy skies for tonight. And with that southerly breeze, again, that is going to help to slowly increase our temperatures. But right now we're sitting in those teens and 20s. Later on tonight, that low of just 18. But we're going to see temperatures rising back up into the lower to mid 20s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. So that's something to look forward to. We have more days to look forward to, but also a few snow chances. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll have details on that coming up in a bit. Thanks so much, Austin. Next tonight, an Oregon family is out of their home after a fire late last night. This photo comes from viewer Melissa Ernie. She says that she was about a half mile from the fire on the 400 block of Union Road. Firefighters say it actually started in the attic and is not suspicious. All three people inside this house and a dog made it out safely, but the house is a total loss and damage is estimated to be about $800,000.
A 31-year-old Nasita man is in custody after a domestic incident. The Juneau County Sheriff's Office says it was responding to a disturbance early this morning. Deputies say that negotiations with this man were unsuccessful, but the county's special tactics team was able to get him out and arrest him. They did not say how they were able to do that tonight. And new tonight at 6, it's no secret people here in Madison love their lakes. And this weekend, families have a chance to help preserve them. Christina Laurie takes us to the Frozen Assets Festival. It's such a, a gift here in Madison that we have these large lakes that become our largest parks in the winter. Year after year, 58 miles of shoreline and five lakes put Madison on list after list of the best places to live. Having frozen assets back is just great for us and it's great for the whole community. Where else can you run a 5K, walk your dog, take your kids for a sled ride, and find Nemo all in one weekend. The money that's raised today goes right back to the lakes. The Frozen Assets Festival on Lake Mendota and at the Edgewater Hotel doubles as a fundraiser for the Clean Lakes Alliance, which has added importance this year after bad weather canceled the 2021 fest. Obviously, we weren't having it as a fundraiser, but we weren't having it as a friendraiser as well. All the people that come out today, we're getting them excited about the lakes and excited about our organization and things that they can do to improve the lakes. Since 2012, the Alliance has raised $1.2 million for lake improvement projects. This weekend could raise 150,000 more. For the rest of the winter, while well, the lake is still frozen, get out and walk on the lake. It is such a unique experience. Adam predicts about two more months of ice cover and says the layer over Lake Mendota is about 12 to 15 inches thick right now. The average ice off date is April 3rd, although that's moving earlier every year. For us to utilize these lakes, not in the summer, but in the winter too, really just shows how important these lakes are to our community uh, and why we need to protect them. In beautiful Madison, Christina Laurie, News 3 Now. If you didn't make it out to today's festival, the fun continues tomorrow from 10 until 2. The big event tomorrow is the Kites Over Mendota, which is free. Today marks a significant anniversary for the pandemic right here in Wisconsin. Ahead at 6, we're going to take a look at the latest numbers and break down the CDC's new guidance on booster shots. Psoriasis really messes with you. Try, hope, fail. No one should suffer like that. I started Cosentix. Five years clear. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentix. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections, some serious, and the lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to. Tell your doctor if your Crohn's disease symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. Best move I ever made. Ask your dermatologist about Cosentix. Family is just very important. She's my sister, and we depend on each other a lot. She's the rock of the family. She's the person who holds everything together. It's a battle, you know, I'm gonna be there. Keytruda and chemotherapy meant treating my cancer with two different types of medicine. In a clinical trial, Keytruda and chemotherapy was proven to help people live longer than chemotherapy alone. Keytruda is used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other immunotherapy. Keytruda may be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment. If you have advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer and you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene, Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion or memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have had radiation to your chest area or a nervous system condition. It feels good to be here for them. Living longer is possible. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. You are watching News 3 Now at 6. Two years ago today, February 5th, 2020, COVID-19 became very real right here in Wisconsin. That's the day that DHS announced it had identified the first case of the virus in the Badger State, and it so happened to come right here in Dane County. Saturday marks two years since we announced the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Wisconsin. We would like to acknowledge the millions of Wisconsinites who have worked to fight this virus with us. 
Much has changed over the past couple years, but one thing that remains constant is our commitment to protecting and promoting your health and safety. Over the past two years, more than 1.3 million cases have been confirmed in Wisconsin. That includes people who have tested positive multiple times or people who tested positive while they were visiting. 11,000 people have died. Now, new cases in Wisconsin are trending downward. Yesterday's seven-day average was 4,100 cases. 16% of tests are coming back positive and 72 counties, all of which still remain in that critically high levels of COVID activity. Now, the CDC is changing its recommendations for some people when it comes to the booster shot. People who are immunally compromised are now recommended to get a fourth shot at least three months after their previous booster. The previous recommendation was after five months. Now, during this pandemic, we've seen a massive rise in unruly passenger incidents on airplanes. Now, the CEO of Delta is asking the DOJ to create a no-fly list for those passengers. Right now, a no-fly list only exists for preventing terrorism. The FAA says last year was the worst in record history for rowdy passengers fueled by the federal mask mandate. All right, we're going to be right back with weather. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Call Wisconsin's number one remodeler, Mad City Baths, your trusted local source for baths, easy access tub to shower conversions and walk-in tubs installed in as little as one day. Act now to be one of 50 homeowners who receive special savings with free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest, no payments, senior and military discounts. And we're going to take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program to receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466, 608-729-4466. Your heart is at the heart of everything you do. And if you have heart failure, entrust your heart to Entresto. It's the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists. And Tresto was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Heart failure can change the structure of your heart, so it may not work as well. And Tresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. And with a healthier heart, there's no telling where life may take you. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or aliskirin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto for heart failure. And trust your heart to Entresto. During Steinhoffel's Super Sale, have dinner on us. Get a $100 Grubhub, Uber Eats, or DoorDash gift card when you purchase some new furniture. Start with 35% off the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses at the guaranteed lowest prices. Plus, when you take advantage of Steinhoffel's special financing, you'll save even more. So get some new furniture and have dinner on us during the super sale at Steinhoffel's. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. Watching News 3 Now at 6. Okay, take a look at this. A man was pulled from Lake Michigan yesterday morning after he fell through the ice on the frozen lake. The Chicago Fire Department says the rescue went smoothly. They just had to use an inflatable raft to help bring him out of the ice. Officials say the man did not realize he was walking on the ice, and the department is reminding people on Twitter that no ice is safe ice. Police cited the man for disorderly conduct. Yikes, Austin. I cannot uh, imagine that one. That yeah, probably feel pretty desperate there. And, you know, it is really tough because even at these parts of the year, I mean, there is still going to be some areas that don't have safe ice. So, I mean, it's always worth just testing just to be safe. Most of it, however, right now is pretty safe, but it's always worth just to check it out. Now, you're taking a peek outside at our Doppler track, which does look pretty good right now. We are going to see that cloud cover generally sticking around for tonight, but with a southerly breeze, our temperatures are actually going to climb a little bit. So this is where we're going to 
going to stay this evening and then later on into the nighttime hours. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, those lower to even mid 20s are going to take over and it should feel quite nice. But then towards the afternoon, we will see a few flurries and even some lighter snow showers actually returning here to the forecast. And that could also lead to a dusting in spots here. Very similar to what we actually saw here just a few days ago. But those temperatures also expected to rise here quite a bit for these following days. Monday, not so much. We are going to cool things right back down there into those lower 20s. But let's talk about precipitation chances afterwards. Now we're going to wait all the way until this Wednesday and especially towards the afternoon and evening hours. There's a possibility to see a rain or even a snow shower there here on our Wednesday coming up. And then Friday or rather Thursday is looking pretty good. But jumping to Friday, it does look like in those morning hours and overnight Thursday night into Friday, there is that next potential to actually see some snowfall. So for tomorrow, we could see a dusting or so by next Thursday and into Friday morning. That's our best shot to see some decent accumulation, but that's still so far away. So we still have quite a few answers to actually uh, or questions rather that need to get answered over these next few days. But our uh, extended forecast does show that we're going to be very close to average here near the end of the forecast, but it does look like that's going to really include quite a few of the 20s. Our extended forecast does show those uh, chances for a few flurries and snow showers in the afternoon tomorrow. Wednesday, that chance to see a passing rain or snow shower. I do think our best shot to actually see some accumulation right now looks to be Thursday night into Friday. But again, we have a lot more questions that need answered here. Plenty of days need to go by before we're going to nail down that forecast. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll keep you posted with the latest, but also make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We just wanted something we didn't have to worry about again, and we've seen this at Mad City or that. We thought, wow, that's the way to go. For the first time when it was actually all done, I actually had tears in my eyes because, like I said, it, it really looked nice. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers. A-plus rating with the BBB. Imagine replacing your old bath with a new walk-in shower, barrier-free shower, walk-in tub with premium wall patterns including quartz, Santa Cruz, and more installed in as little as one day. Remember, 50 homeowners who call now will receive free installation on a new bath or shower. 18 months, no interest and no payments. Senior and military discounts. Let us take the before and after pictures and listen to this. You'll be compensated for your time. And if you call now, you get a $50 Amazon gift card with estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call now with zip code and location to qualify, 608-729-4466, 608-729-4466. What are you recommending for muscle pain? Based on clinical data, I recommend Salon Pass. Agreed. My patients like these patches because they work up to 12 hours, even on moderate pain. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. Your eyes, beautiful on the outside, but if you have diabetes, there can be some not so pretty stuff going on inside. It's true. If you have diabetes, you know high blood sugar is the root of the problem. But that excess sugar can cause the blood vessels to be seriously damaged. And when that happens, this could happen. Vision loss or even blindness. That's right. Diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of blindness for adults in the U.S. But even though you can't see it, there is something you can do about it. Remember this. Now is the time to get your eyes checked. Eye care is an incredibly important part of your long-term diabetes management. See a path forward with actions and treatments a retina specialist can provide that may help your eyes and protect against vision loss. Just say to yourself, now I see. Then go see an eye care specialist. Visit nowic.com to get the facts about diabetes, your eyes, and what you can do next to take charge of your sight. Brought to you by Regeneron. More and more people are getting scammed on social media. Sunday, we'll share ways to protect yourself online. And we'll also have a look at your work week forecast. Join us Sunday morning at 6.30.
folks, that is uh, not wrong on your screen. It's only 30 to 29 Badgers uh, late in the second half. And uh, well, we're going to get a lot more from sports anchor Jordan Reed on a defensive battle between yeah. these two teams. Late in the second half, it was that score. Yeah, and it, it oh. was, I think, uh, with two minutes left in the first half, Penn State had nine points. Yeah, I think at halftime, Wisconsin had 18. Yikes. So it was, uh, it's, a, it's a football score there at half. So it's <laughs> playing great D. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Keep up that good defense. And, you know, later on tonight, 18 degrees for that low temperature, but we're very close to setting that actually right now. Temperatures will rise through the 20s, even throughout these overnight hours. And a final check of our extended forecast, a few more snow chances to watch out for. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at 10.